Hey everyone, my name is Karstadi, and welcome to a game called the Stanley Player Par Par Playable Parable. Yeah. Do I know what it is? No, I don't. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It was free on the Epic Games a while ago, so I got it. And I've been meaning to play it for a while, and I just haven't been able to do that, so that's why I'm here today. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired today because I was working. This is the story of a man shut up. named Stanley. Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Uh oh. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. That sounds the Orders kinda... came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, wow. how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day every month of every year. That sucks. Although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Really? And Stanley was happy. Wow. Well, now and I have some backstory. Day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Mm, yes. Something he would never quite forget. I see. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Hmm. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his Oh, office. this is me now. Okay. Oh, here I am getting up from my desk and stepping out of my office. This is my office. 427. Cool, cool, cool. Coolio, Julio. That's 429. Um, let's go explore. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Weird. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm. The meeting room. Probably this way somewhere. Um, this way maybe. Maybe this way. Oh, I definitely know where the meeting room is. It's gotta be. It's it. It's not gotta be. I know for a fact it's this way. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. What happens if I go to the right door? Actually. This looks peculiar. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not Feeling getting fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Mr. Boss, broom closet, that's not my boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mm. Ooh, creepy office, dude. Creepy, creepy. Oh. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Mm -hmm. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk yes. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned Two, it an four, extra six, secret pin eight. number. Who do we appreciate? Two, eight, oh. four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, okay. Stanley happened to input the correct code now by what? sheer luck. What happens now? Amazing. Oh, hello. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This one. Hi, newly opened passageway. How you doing? button okay I pushed it I've been in an elevator like this before it's very weird it was a lot bigger than this one though descending deeper into the building Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar it was a stirring of emotion in his chest yes. as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job right why did he feel this now when for years it had never occurred to him this question would not go unanswered for long interesting Hey. The light. Is this a horror game? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. I'm thinking this is some sort of psychological game I'm gathering because this is. Uh, I want to know what's in there, but I also want to know what's in there. There's so many hard choices. I'm going to go this way because it's it served me well so far. You know. 
to leave just yet. Push. The lights rose yes. on an enormous room packed with Ooh, television. A missile silos. What oh. horrible secret did this place hold? It's like that room Stanley from Incredibles. Himself, did he have the strength to find out? Let's see. Let us let us let us pray. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Cameras. Now the monitors jump to life. Ooh. Their true Ooh. nature revealed. Ooh. Each bore the number four, of seven, an employee three? in the building. Four seven two. Stanley's That's me. co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wow. That's pretty unique. I'm sure every job is like this. I'm sure of it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Mm. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Interesting. Wasn't it? Yes. Was it even possible? Maybe. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world it sure does seem that way now doesn't it but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions but happy or sad or content Ooh. walking eating Ooh. working all of it monitored and commanded from this very Ooh. place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Yes. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. That's right. Love how this guy's making decisions for me. System power. Is this that simple? I did it. I did it. I did it. Wow, I, I saved the day. I saved the day. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Mm. Was it over? Is it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? This is interesting. As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Wow. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. How to feel. Ooh. Whatever life he lives, it will be. Looks like that map in Call of Duty Ghosts. That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Really? Did I really? Because I can't at the moment. Oh, now I can. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. It's walking without the me. The feeling of liberation. Liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Wow. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Oh. And Stanley. Airplanes. Was happy. Happy. Happiness. Well, that escalated quickly. So I think there's different. This is very interesting. I might have to I might have to do some sort of a little series on this because it is interesting. There are like different endings that go to this and uh, different, you know, what what whatever's. So like if you don't listen to narrator, you can find other stuff out like the escape when it gave me the choice where I could go escape or I could go like into that other room. Yeah, I may have to try this again and figure everything out. But this is interesting. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big ol' like. If you didn't like it, give it a big ol' dislike. Also, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It'd really make me happy. So, thank you very much for watching it. And I will see all y'all in the next one. Stay frosty, folks. Bye.